Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying an exponential rational expression. We have 2 to the power 11 minus 2 to the 10 minus 2 to the 9 minus 2 to the 8 divided by 2 to the 12 minus 2 to the power 11 minus 2 to the power 10. I'll be presenting two methods and I'm pretty sure there's more than two ways to do this. Let's get started with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to consider the following. 2 to the power 11 and 2 to the power 10 are consecutive powers of 2. So if I take those two together, I can actually come up with something. Remember, in a previous video, if I can find, I'll link it down below and here, we talked about adding the same powers of 2, like if you add, for example, 2 to the 10th power plus 2 to the 10th power, you get 2 times 2 to the 10th power, and that is 2 to the power 11 by adding the exponents. So that should tell you something. If I subtract the two consecutive powers like this, like go ahead and subtract 2 to the 10th from both sides, you should be getting 2 to the 10th again. Why? This is kind of like 2x, and this is like x, right? If x is 2 to the 10th power. By the way, it's 1024, but we don't care about that. So it's like taking away one of the x's from 2x. Makes sense, right? So that's one of the approaches that we can use here to simplify this. Okay, let's go. So we have 2 to the power 11, right, minus 2 to the 10, minus 2 to the 9th, minus 2 to the... How about this? Let me simplify the numerator, and then let me sim simplify the denominator, those two separately, and then I'll put it together, instead of just writing the fraction every time. Okay? That'll save us some time. So these two will turn into 2 to the power 10 for reasons we just talked about. But you can generalize this too. You can say, hey, 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 2 to the power n can be written as 2 to the power n times 2 minus 2 to the n, and this is 2 to the power n. You can also take out 2 to the n and write this as 2 minus 1. By factoring, you get the same idea. Make sense? Okay, great. So once we know the pattern, the rest should be easy. Now let's go ahead and simplify it that way. 2 to the 11 minus 2 to the 10 is 2 to the 10 minus 2 to the 9, minus 2 to the 8. Now, if you take these two, 2 to the 10 minus 2 to the 9, it's always going to be the smaller power. Remember that. It can't be 2 to the 10th, obviously. That means 2 to the 9th is 0. That's, you know, doesn't make sense. And now we have 2 to the 9 minus 2 to the 8, and that is equal to 2 to the 8th. This is our numerator. Let's call it n u m. How about the denominator? Let's go ahead and simplify the denominator. It is 2 to the power 12 minus... 2 to the power 11 minus 2 to the power 10. Great. Now, these two will turn into 2 to the power 11, and these two will turn into 2 to the power 10. Great. That's our denominator. And how do you write the denominator? Let's go ahead and, by the way, denominator and numerator. I don't know why they're calling it, it that. Um, it's, N, it's not NUM, it's NOM. Anyways, let's call it DENOM. So we're going to divide these. The answer is going to be then 2 to the 8th divided by 2 to the 10th, which is 2 to the power negative 2, which is 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. Great. So the answer is 1 fourth. I know it's simple, it's numerical, but this is still a method that works. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And then hopefully you can compare and contrast. So we have 2 to the power 11. I'm going to write the original problem divided by, yeah, that's a nice line, right? Okay, now, my second method depends on common uh, factors. I noticed that in the numerator, 2 to the 8th is the smallest power, so I can take it out. Okay, let's do it. Take out 2 to the 8th, and now notice that 2 to the 11th can be written as 2 to the 8th times 2 to the 3rd. So you're basically going to subtract this from all the exponents, like 11 minus 8, and that's going to give you 2 to the 3rd, and then 10 minus 8, that's going to give you 2 to the 2nd, 9 minus 8, which is 2 to the 1st, minus 1. Make sense? When you distribute, you're going to get the original expression. Make sense? Hopefully. And at the bottom, you have different choices. You can take out 2 to the 10th because it is the smallest power, or you can take 2 to the 8th, because we have 2 to the 8th. It's totally up to you. I'm going to take out 2 to the 10th because it's the greatest common factor. So let's take out 2 to the 10th. 
And now inside we're going to have 2 to the power 2 minus 2 minus 1. Okay, for obvious reasons. And then these two can be simplified. You can subtract, and this is going to give you 2 to the power negative 2 again. But what about the other one? Is this going to give you the same thing? Well, this is going to be like 2 to the power negative 2 multiplied by what is in the numerator. 8 minus 4 minus 2 minus 1, and the bottom is 4 minus 2 minus 1. And that's kind of interesting because 8 minus 4 is 4, and 4 minus 2 minus 1 is the same as 4 minus 2 minus 1. Or this is 4 minus 2 minus 1, which is 1. And this is also 1, so they're both 1. So they're just going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with 2 to the power negative 2, which is 1 fourth. If you have any other methods, please let us know in the comments. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.